Hello everyone and welcome to my preview of Andrew Rams and Dave from Flemington. Can't wait to get stuck into it and bounce back off what was a really disappointing week last week. Let's get on with race number one. Race number one is a two-year-old set weight plus penalties over the 1,100 metres and Duel is the $3.60 favourite. Um, don't change up the top is at $4.60 and Nothing Silly is at $6.50. This was Duel's most recent jump out at Mornington and it was it's its only jump out that it's recorded. This was over the 700 metres. They didn't run a very fast time, but I'm not judging... Uh, just this horse off its jump out because uh, it sold for 1.2 million at the Australia Easter sale. It's got a lot of potential, um, and I think based on ability, it should be winning on the weekend. But with everything set up, Flemington straight, gate three for duel isn't ideal, so I'm just holding off with the strategy, but I think it's still good enough to win. I've put it on top. Don't change, but we're, we know what it's capable of. Gets the blinkers on for the first time, and Jamie Mott takes the ride. We'll be storming home late from the back. Nothing silly will be on pace uh, from gate number four and giving itself every chance, and impel maybe over the odds. But I'm with duel in race number one. Race 2 is a 3-year-old Phillies benchmark 78 over the 1100 metres and I Am Me is the odds on $1.95 favourite. Commands the field is the second favourite, number 3 at $6.50. But this was a dominant last start effort from I Am Me. This was in a Phillies and Mares benchmark 78 over the 1100 metres. So really drops back in class but obviously rises in weight. Um, but just put this field to sleep pretty easily. Um, it would turn into a little bit of a sit and sprint, and it probably had the best sprint, and that's what you can see here. But um, I think on the weekend, it, it's a dual acceptor, so it might not even run here. It's accepted for Scone up in Sydney on the Friday in a good race, so if it goes to Scone, it won't be running here. But if it runs here, it's the one to beat 35 the win on I and Me. If it is scratched, I'm with Commands the Field and Ravaged Award, just leaning towards Commands the Field from Gate 4 will be on speed, giving self every chance back to 1100 metres suits. Ravaged Award will be storming home down the outside for Craig Williams. I can't wait to see what it does, and no way ever in for fourth. But I'm with I and Me in race number two at Flemington. Race 3 is a 3-year-old handicap over the 1,700 metres. Umgawa is the $5 favourite. Flash Feeling is there at $5.50. $6 for Sonora and $6.50 for General Firepower. Very wide open race. And Umgawa, this was its last start effort. And this was on Anzac Day uh, behind Ton of Grit at Flemington. So, um, obviously, as you can see, it carried the top weight here. This was over the 1,400, and it did exceptionally well. It's been to 1,600 metres once in its career, and it's won. Obviously, I would much prefer this horse at 1,600 metres, but it's at 1,700, but it's only 100 metres more, so what can you say? But I'm confident that Umgawa can get the job done. Gate 7, Craig Williams will be storming home from the back late, hoping that 1,700 metres isn't too long for it. British Columbia, um, I think, will be right on speed and giving itself every chance in the straight. A very, very close second. Sonora and General Firepower for third and fourth. They've both got good chances. But I'm with Umgawa in the third at Flemington. Race 4 is a Phillies and Mares benchmark, 78 over the 1,400 metres. Adela Moore is the $4.20 favourite, $4.40 there for Vespertine, and seven fifty up there for Butter Chicken. This was Butter Chicken's, well, last time it was first up. So in the Let's Elope Stakes in the spring, um, this was won by Tarath, and probably should have finished closer. It was racing in restricted room. Now, this horse, I think, is still has still got some exciting factors about it. It's still got um, some untapped ability, and I reckon it's the best horse in the field um, on Saturday, um, and I think it should be the favourite. Only little niggle is gate number two. If it can get off gate two and Craig Williams can um, give it every chance, it'll be winning, and I'm quite confident in its chances. But gate two just held me off slightly. So 10 the win on Butter Chicken. It should be winning. Adela Moore in for second. Draws gate one, which is not good at all. It'll need a lot of luck. So I've got it in for second. It's kind of magic. I think they figured this horse out straight up to the 1,400 metres. will charge home late and give itself... Obviously, every chance charging home late and starring roll, I think, might be too far up in class, but it's racing well. I reckon Butter Chicken is the one to beat in race number four. Race 5 is a benchmark 78 over the 1600 metres and Bel Toro is the $3.60 favourite. All double figures the rest, but now Vitruvius is at $4.40 right down the bottom, the fourth emergency. This was Bel Toro's last start effort. It's on the week back up. This was last week behind Mankind at 
Caulfield. Um, obviously, Uncle Bryn was very well fancied to win the race and didn't. Um, Bel Toro got very close to the winner in the end. I love the weak backup. Shows the confidence in the stable. Logan McNeil gets the three kilo claim. I reckon has a tactical advantage over its main rival Vitruvius. Will be settling closer in the run than it. And we'll see what it's got in the straight. I reckon um, it's the one to beat, Bel Toro. And I can see it winning in my mind. So I've got it on top. Vitruvius hasn't even got a run yet. It's the fourth emergency. Um, draws very wide. We'll have to get back. But it'll be, it'll be charging home late. It was a good last start run. Lyrical Lad third up. Will be right up at Sally and Kips could surprise first up for Mara Nusis, but I'm with Baltoro in the fifth. Race six is a three-year-old handicap over the 1,400 metres. Aaron Bay is the $3.70 favourite. $4 for Ice Picnic and $8 up there for Star of Chaos. We are going to take a look at the last start replay of Cardinal Gem. This was behind the unexpectedly new, exciting talent, Star Patrol. It won by seven lengths on this occasion. Cardinal Gem couldn't get close. So if Star Patrol wasn't in the race... Cardinal Gem runs a very close second um, to the second horse, um, which was Savvy Sovereign. Um, and I think Cardinal Gem up to the 1400, second up, um, should be midfield, hopefully close enough if good enough on the turn. And I think it's good enough to win this race, and I think $8.50 is value. So I'm with Cardinal Gem. Aaron Bay um, will have a tactical advantage over Cardinal Gem. will settle closer in the run, and it's a very good chance. Ton of Grid, a last start winner, I thought was over the odds. Um, rises up in weight, however. And Ice Picnic, I thought 1400 was a little query with a lot of speed. But I'm with Cardinal Gem in race number six. Race 7 is the feature on the card. It's the listed Andrew Ramsden stakes over the 2,800 metres win and you're in the Melbourne Cup. Splendiferous is the $3.50 favourite and Point Nepean is at $4. Now this was Splendiferous' last start win at uh, Morpherville in the Port Adelaide Cup and it's on the week back up, I'm pretty sure. So um, this was only a week ago and it did very well here. This horse has really come from nowhere from this form and I've got it on top here. Um, I think it can make it three career wins in a row. Should go to the front. Gay Waterhouse, Adrian Bott, runners just run all day. So I reckon 20, it'll eat up 2,800. Um, anything above 2,000, I reckon this horse eats up. And I reckon Splendiferous is the one to beat. And I think it'll be getting into the Melbourne Cup. Point to pan in for second. Has strung together a nice picket fence winning, I think, two in a row. And should be running well again. Through Iowa Shires nearly beat it last start. And up to the 2,800 will only suit it. It's a good chance. But I'm having 3 each one on Sound of Cannons. I reckon it's over the odds. It's good track form. Um, is well enough to win this race. So that's why I've got just a little each way on it. But I'm with Splendiferous in the Andrew Ramsden. Race 8 is a benchmark 100 over the 1,400 metres. $6.50 up the top for both Morvada and Lightning Jack. And the favourite is Triple Missile at $3.90 coming off a... Good Wangoom run, but this was Morvada's last start effort at Morfittville. This was in the City of Adelaide Handicap, and it put this field away quite nicely. Morvada is an ultra-consistent horse. If you uh, if you don't follow racing that closely, Morvada is an ultra-consistent horse, especially at the 1400, especially at Flemington. It never runs a bad race, and... It's trustworthy enough for me to put it on top. So I like Morvada going forward. Linda Meach in the saddle, I reckon. Morvada's the one to beat. 12 each way on... Uh, sorry, 12 the win on Morvada. 12 the win also on Lightning Jack. If the race develops into a... Well, a race where the back markers are suited, then I reckon Lightning Jack's the one to beat. Annabelle Nisham first up can win. Got it in for second. B Hunter was a good last start winner at 1200, and Triple Missile I thought was way under the odds. Um, has to go from a heavy track to a good track second up off a pretty testing first up run. But I'm with more Varda in race number eight. And race number nine is a benchmark 84 over the 1,000 metres down the Flemington Strait. Dosh is the $4 favourite. $6.50 for How Mantic and five fifty dollars down there for Winsum. Um, this was Winsum's most recent jump out at Cranbourne. As you can see, it was on some pretty testing conditions. Um, but I reckon this horse is ideally suited first up over the 1,000 metres. Um, is proven down the Flemington Strait. It can run down the Flemington Strait. This horse, uh, sorry, this race is set up with a lot of fast, uh, fast speed in the race. So Win Sum should be just sitting off that speed, hopefully off midfield, and absolutely charge home late first up and storm over the lot of them. I'm surprised it's not the favourite Win Sum. Fifteen the win on Win Sum to blast out in the last. I'm quite confident. How romantic I reckon can definitely win. It's just drawn the wrong part of the track, gate number two, but it can definitely win. Dosh the favourite. Um, 
um, will be settling on speed and giving itself every chance and whip crack away the same. But good luck at Flemington on Saturday. I'm with Winsum to blast down in the last. Good luck.